Hello, my Libra friends. This is Anna here. I've got my tarot. Unfortunately, it's a little late in the evening for me, so whoops. So the tea is on the way out. I've got some bubbly water or boobly water. I also got, you know, the flat kind because uh, it's almost 11 o'clock at night where I am. So we're going to get some readings for this new moon for my Libra friends. We have the new moon in Taurus coming up on Tuesday, May 11th. So we're looking at a few things. We're looking at uh, what my Libra friends' thoughts and feelings are about their present situation, uh, the life that they want and desire, so what they need to visualize, what intentions they need to set with this new moon in order to achieve the life that they want. And then we're going to see if there's a divine message for our Libra friends from the universe. So here we go. So what are my Libra friends' thoughts and feelings about the present? What are they reflecting on right now? Or what should they reflect on right now? And what is the life that my Libra friends want and desire? friends going to achieve the life that they want. This deck's been shuffling really weird today. What intentions do my Libra friends need to set in order to achieve the life that they want? And do we have a divine message for my Libra friends from the universe? Let's try that again. Because those cards went wonky. <laughs> I'm telling you, Libra, I really like this reading so far. Message do we have for our Libra friends? Universe. Apparently, the universe just like wants you to leave a message. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. <laughs> what message do we have for our legal friends? Whew. I don't know what... I think it was... It slid into a reverse position. So that's sort of... You know what we're going to go with. All right. So your feelings about the present situation. The Empress. I mean, she's, she's an amazing card. She's all about abundance. She's like Mother Earth. The epitome of Mother Earth, right? So creation. 
um, can indicate pregnancy. There might be some of you Libras who are pregnant out there. I don't know. But abundance, fertility, like she is the mom energy, right? The empress is the mom, the emperor is the dad. So she's all about birthing things, creating things. Um, she's just a beautiful energy all around. She is Gaia, Mother Earth. So perhaps... I guess we haven't really touched upon what your thoughts and feelings about this present card or what they could be with this card. Maybe you have a lot of ideas. Maybe you have a lot of things you'd like to try. Hmm. Maybe you're pregnant or trying to get pregnant. Right? This can also be like, you know, some indication of a parenting card. We're all kind of in the emperor and empress energy right now where I'm at because in Ontario, the kids are out of school right now and who knows when they're going back. It's supposed to be like May 19th, but I think they might head back to school for September. That's just my opinion though. So I think we're all kind of feeling some kind of this energy, but this is a very positive, like earthy en energy, which is good because this new moon is in Taurus, which is an earth sign. So, uh, you know, it's going to be a very like grounded sort of feel to it. Now the life you want and desire, we had the seven of pentacles pop out for you. Which, this card is all about patience, hard work, okay? Um, it might be like a delayed success. You can see he's like sitting there and he's feeding his energy. He must be like an energy worker or something. He's feeding his energy into the growth of this little plant. And I mean, it's not very big, right? It's probably only about three or four inches tall. Maybe the height of this card. <laughs> but look at those roots, all right, he has so much more there that's going to sprout than he's even aware of, right? There's all of these, the seven pentacles down here, and they're all going to reach up. Each individual one is going to grow into something else, right? They're spreading their roots far and wide, but he can't see that. So he might think on some level that like, oh, I'm putting in all this hard work and this is all I have to show for it. But I think that you want to, this, I mean, these two go together so well. He is birthing this. He is helping in this creation of this, right? And you have this creative energy and this motherly energy and this abundance, this fertility. And this is what's going on here, like with the growth of, of what he is working on. So I, th I think there's something with creation and something with bringing something to life, right? These cards are both about, about bringing stuff to life. <sighs> Let's see what this one is. Setting intentions. So how our Libra friends are going to achieve the life they want. And we've got the two of pentacles, which is all about balance. Weighing options, right? And multitasking. But they make it every two of pentacles i see it doesn't matter regardless of the card they make it seem effortless so you have this abundance of creative energy here with the emperors this is where your thoughts and feelings about where you are presently you have all of this to give you have all of this to put into everything that you want and desire you just need to make sure you stay balanced. You can't put all your eggs in one basket. You can't run yourself dry, right? Like you can't, you need to make sure you balance yin and yang, right? What you're doing. Because otherwise you can burn yourself out, right? And then you might have unfulfillment with with this card, right? Like he's, he's delayed. It's, you might further the delay. I guess if you're if you're not balanced and the divine message from the universe for you is the five of pentacles in reverse so <laughs> normally this would be like like 
don't call attention to your weaknesses, right? Just like defeat um, can indicate like isolation, right? Sitting there by themselves or a financial loss of some kind. However, we kind of had it, it's, you saw it, it like slid across the desk into like the reverse position. So that's how I took it. Uh, and reversed, this can indicate like new hope a new job or home, right? And and hope returning to you for somebody who feels defeated to have that feeling of hope return is like nothing else. It is the most liberating and amazing feeling that you can have to have hope and and just possibilities return to you. So, enjoy. Because all of this, all of this is creative energy. You're making something here. <clears throat> you just need to be careful to balance things properly. Take care of yourself, right? You're, you're birthing these new creations. And you're patiently waiting on all these things. And you're going to be constantly feeding your energy into that thing. And it, and it might not seem like it's paying off. But you also have to replenish yourself right you have to replenish you and balance things so that this can come to fruition right and then the universe assures you with this card that 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 is going to come about that you're going to have hope returned that there will be recovery from from maybe even from the work that you have to put in okay maybe this maybe this is just another reminder that that recovery that you have to you know balance everything all right my libra friends i hope that this reading finds you well and that you enjoy your new moon on tuesday may 11th immensely love and light to you all and we will see you soon don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that little bell below so that when I post new content, you also get notified. Bye.